Well, my blood, this is George G, and the time is right. Welcome to today's guest, a strong and powerful Bryce Henson. Bryce, are you ready to do this? George, let's go. Thanks for, so much for having me on. Let's go. Excited to have you on. Bryce is the CEO of Fit Body Bootcamp. He's a fitness expert, coach, author, and inspirational leader. Bryce, tell us a little bit about your personal life, some more about your work, and why you do what you do. Holy smokes. Well, uh, I'm a fitness guy. Wasn't always the case. Um, I uh, spent the first 10 years of my life in Atlanta, Georgia. I used to talk like this when I was a little boy and uh, through a series of events, actually really bad situation when I was younger. It was actually a blessing disguised as a tragedy. Uh, my father was a drug addict, alcoholic, and addicted to gambling. Not necessarily conducive for a good family upbringing, but uh, thankfully, by the grace of God, my mother escaped with her three children intact. And uh, we moved to the state of Michigan, where I spent uh, the, the next 10 years of my life and graduated school, um, you know, Michigan State University. And really, I guess this is where the, the fitness kind of journey comes, comes into play. Um, Michigan's a great place, amazing people, not necessarily the fitness capital of the world. So when I uh, graduated and I got a job in Los Angeles, California, I was excited. The palm trees, the blue skies, the beaches. Um, but I was 3,000 miles from home, and I was not a fit guy, lacked confidence, enthusiasm, um, self-esteem, and um, realized that uh, I had a lot more dark days than good. And that was kind of a big awakening for me that I needed a change in my life. So from that perspective, that kind of you know took us through uh, the big pain point in the need. And then we were just talking offline, George, that uh, we both lived in Orange County for a period of time, ended up moving to Orange County. And the fortuitous situation happened to me. One of my good buddies from college um, was not on the cover of Men's Health, but certainly could have been. He had the six-pack abs, the ripped body, the energy, the confidence, enthusiasm. And I really looked up to that. And uh, after we lived together, I finally mustered up enough courage to ask him how he got fit or how he stays fit. I knew he went to the gym. And uh, George, what he did, uh, he said, I will be glad to help you. However, you've seen this, uh, all of my buddies or all of our friends in college asked me how to get fit. Very few actually did it. Mm. So if you're going to um, basically follow my guidance, I'm going to uh, ask you and get you to commit to at least 90 days. You're going to do everything that I ask for you in terms of following to the gym and doing the uh, circuit training and clean eating. And uh, that's what we did. And I'm glad he made me do that commitment because George, if I'm honest with you, the first 30 days were absolutely brutal. I thought about quitting every day, um, but thankfully I stuck with it. And what he did was introduce me to, to, to lifting weights to uh, circuit training, to clean eating, nutrition, a different lifestyle, but more importantly, to coaching and accountability, because I would love to look you in the eye and say, I could have done it myself. I don't know if that's the case, um, but thankfully I, I stuck with them. And after about 90 days, I saw progress, but really about six months later, completely transfer, transfer, transform my physique, uh, lost 20 pounds of fat, put on 20 pounds of muscle. Uh, but if your audience here, of course, like in the self-help and uh, self, self-help and loving up, realize that fitness, while it can change your physique, which is certainly positive, it actually changed my life. It gave me more energy, more confidence, more enthusiasm, and really sparked my interest and lit my fire uh, to get in the fitness industry. Nice. Well, certainly that, that's, that's, that's quite a story from, from, <laughs> from where you started. Totally. The accent piece, did that just go away on its own? Or was that like, I am weird here in Michigan because I talk differently. I better get rid of that. Or how well, does that all work out? A little bit of both. I was young. I was about 10 years old at the time. So you, you pick things up and you lose things really quickly. Uh, but yeah, I was li literally grew up. I say Atlanta, Georgia, and that's a, that's a stretch. It was really the, the suburbs in 30 plus years ago. Um, so when I first moved to Michigan, the first six months, kids would ask me, how do you say y'all or yella and things like that. So I think it was a combination. I was young. I picked it up quick, but I also kind of felt awkward. I didn't really want to be that guy. So I, I think I was forced to as well. Yeah, well, I, I certainly appreciate that. So and then your buddy being a wise person, getting frustrated by people saying, hey, how'd you do it? And then he would spend a lot of time and energy telling them this is how I did it. Yep. And then to have people just not do anything with that information, what, 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 what was it that, that, that you think made it stick for you? Yeah, that's a great question. I think, you know, like I said, fortuitous situation, we lived together. So I think mm -hmm. I had that like in-person accountability. So I had to room with my buddy and I was going to see him every day. So that, that accountability was really helpful. And, um, I just was in pain. I, I honestly, you know, George, I tried a few times in the first year and a half when I lived in LA, 
um, with, with minimal success. And um, actually, if I'm being very honest and transparent, um, there was a really key factor. And uh, you know how young people, I guess humans in general, but young people specifically are more, I guess, susceptible to social pressure and all that. And I remember about six months before, a few months actually, before this happened, um, I was at a pool party with uh, some of my other friends and I had my shirt off and I was an obese guy, but I definitely was soft and didn't have a de definition of my physique. And one of my buddies calls out in front of a crowded pool of girls, Bryce, it looks like you have islands for nipples. And I stopped and I'm like, I don't even know what that means, but it was so embarrassing. And I think just a combination of being in a dark place, you know, knowing that I wanted something different, seeing that my buddy had that living with him and then really going through a very emotional pain point, which I look back now, I laugh, it's trivial, but those are a few things that really kind of lit a fire and maybe stick with it. Yeah. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> Whoever that guy was or that gal, F them for sure. <laughs> All good. I'm better for it. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Well, it's whatever it is that, that, that sort of makes us do something right. I'm fascinated by it. We were talking a little bit before we started about how I, I work in personal finance and it's not easy to get people to proactively make change. Sometimes it is a function of I'm carrying around immense shame or I had an event or I've gotten a health scare or something like that. As, as, as you and Fit Body Bootcamp, you've decided to structure your program in a way. Talk, talk, talk to me a little bit about why it is that you believe that what you're doing is going to inspire the change that people want or why it does. Holy smokes. I mean, what we do, and this is a, a labor of love. So when I kind of talked to you about my transformation story, that was really the first moment in time after I went through that transformation, I realized, uh, you know, circuit training and lifting weights and, you know, nutrition coaching and, you know, clean living really worked for me, but more importantly, the personal accountability and uh, the coaching, um, if that worked for me, it could work for other people. And that was really when the light bulb went out. So it wasn't until a couple of years later that actually you've discovered the fit body bootcamp model and and I'm not the founder, although a dear friend, a mentor, and a business partner of mine is Bedros Koulian, uh, B for short. Um, so when I saw hit the model, um, you know, back in 2012, and when I knew I wanted to, you know, take a step uh, in the right direction to make fitness actually a lifestyle, and not only a lifestyle but a profession, um, when I was doing a lot of research and diligence, I realized that this model is was exactly the the support system and really what worked for me. So I knew it worked for other people, and um, that's kind of from my perspective, how, you know, that my confidence ensued and ended up basically taking the first step became a fit body bootcamp owner. I still own two locations in Orange County and your Belinda and Mission Viejo. Um, but, uh, you know, after taking that first step of business ownership, then, you know, looped in my family, ended up uh, hiring at, or bringing on my wife, my mom, my brother, my sister, and made it a family thing, if you will. And uh, just over the course of a handful of years, just worked incredibly hard and just seen a huge change in our communities and the lifestyle. And, and to really take a step back in terms of the pain point, because I really strongly believe that people take action and behavior change for two reasons. One is either to avoid pain, which I did, or two is to seek pleasure. And certainly I, I think fitness can provide both of those. Um, but if you look at, take a step back and we're shooting this in early 2022 and all the craziness that's gone on in the world in the last two years, um, if you look at the data perspective, the pandemic that we actually should be most concerned about statistically is the obesity pandemic. In fact, it's affecting 50% of our population. Three million people nearly die of obesity on a yearly basis, according to the World Health Organization. And that's more than COVID um, for not only for the last two years, but over the last 15 years. So for, for me, this is why I have a duty, obligation, responsibility to really bring our program to the world, bring our program to life, because people are suffering right now. And we need to focus on health and fitness and go away from the fear and, and all the craziness that our media is pumping out. Yeah. Well, I certainly appreciate that. Avoid pain, seek pleasure. These are the, these are the drivers, the motivators for us to, to make change. Um, you've mentioned weights, circuit training, uh, accountability, coaching, nutrition. Tell me about the program and how it actually works. 
Yeah. So our secret sauce is we run 30 minute sessions. We like to say we provide um, personal training in a group setting. So if you're looking at our program, like where it fits in the industry, you have a big box gym, which really, you know, is very, very cheap, but you just have access to weights. There's no coaching accountability. And that's the reason why many people have gym memberships, but they very little use them. Um, and certainly uh, they don't get results um, by and large, right? Statistically. On the other side of the industry, you have one-on-one -on -one personal training, which is very highly effective. You have that coaching and accountability, but can be cost prohibited somewhere between 800 and 1300 bucks a month. If you were to see a personal trainer a few times a week, and that doesn't even include nutrition coaching. So where Fit Body Bootcamp kind of falls in the program and in the industry, um, we provide personal training in a group setting. So uh, we have uh, structured sessions. So uh, they're 30 minutes in length. Uh, they're full body workouts. We have three types of workouts, a classic workout, which is an even blend a blend of strength and cardio training. Then we have a strength day, which is really focused more on strength, but also has cardio. And then we have a cardio day, which is more predominantly cardio, but also includes strength. But in any case, it's a full body circuit. And, uh, you know, typically our clients come at least three, if not four times a week and through our coaching and accountability are able to drastically change the physique. But George, as we were talking about earlier, uh, fitness can provide an incredible physique transformation, but really that's the, the, the surface. It provides, you know, a, a, a person identity transformation from mind, body, and spirit. And that's really how our program works and why we're so successful. I appreciate that. So you have a blend, the strength, the cardio, those are the three sessions. Are, is, 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 is cardio the lightest day of the week, Bryce? Well, I mean, you could say it's the lightest in the sense of it's not, uh, it, it's the least amount of resistance or strength training, but I tell you, don't let uh, the 30 minute cardio session fool you because it packs a big punch. And typically speaking, I train at least three times a week. I leave just a hot drenched sweaty mess. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. I, I would think that'd be the least popular. So, <laughs> all right. So I, I, I think that from my perspective, um, you've said a lot of really important things and the identity piece of it is such a huge thing. I think that we get goal setting wrong. We think once I'm fit, then I'll start doing all the things that I want to do. Or once I, you know, get to this thing, then I'm going to feel a certain way versus recognizing, well, you may never get there. So it could take you years to start feeling that way. Why not shift your identity and the way you're thinking about something now? And that'll get you to where you want to go. Yeah. Amen. And there's a few ways you can do that. And I completely agree with you, George, the biggest thing for me, and I believe I've heard Tony Robbins talk about this is one of the, the, the uh, foundational ways to change your identity. Actually, first and foremost is to seeking up with podcasts like you putting really strong inputs. That's going to lift you up and be very positive to help shift your mindset and your identity. But the second aspect is the immersion. It's like getting into a place, a culture, a community. And for us at Fit Body Bootcamp, like the support group, the energy, the community, the culture is really what helps people make that identity shift because that's really what you want to get to long term to help you keep you know healthy and fit for a lifetime, not just a short, quick fix. Yeah, I think that that's I think that that makes sense. From a coaching and accountability standpoint, how does that how does that actually factor in? Well, I think uh, the value of our program and it's a coaching based program. So, you know, you have to come and make an appointment. We typically in every uh, fit body location is a little bit different in terms of schedule based off their local market, but roughly speaking, four sessions in the morning, four sessions in the evening to choose from. So it's not a big box gym concept where you can just kind of show up at any time. You have to come to a pre book session. And again, it's group training. So you're typically working out with anywhere from 15 to 25, upwards of 30 people per session. You have that group built in energy. Energy, but really it's led by a certified personal trainer, a coach uh, who's provided or programmed the workout, provided instruction, demonstrated, you know, the movements and then providing you um, energy and motivation in addition to form correction. So that really coaching is everything because uh, let's face it. I mean, you've been in the personal finance industry for a long time. How many people need help with personal finance? Probably the vast majority of people, especially if they're not working on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's the same here with fitness. Most people are not, you know, sitting, uh, on their computer, crafting and programming different workouts they can do. They're busy. They have school, they have work, they have kids, they have a family. So they just need to pop in, get the coaching, get the hard workout and really get a strong result and let our coaches accountability or coaching accountability and support um, really help with that success. Yeah. I think that that's great. Four sessions in the morning, four sessions in afternoon or evening. So there's certainly plenty to choose from. Yep. And is it seven days a week? 
So typically we have, we're open six days a week on Saturday, we have morning sessions only. A lot of times our clients are, you know, busy parents and they have, you know, school practice or excuse me, um, soccer practice to get to with their kids or whatever the case may be. So um, we have four, uh, three to four sessions in the morning on Saturday. Um, and uh, our program will be six days uh, per week. Nice. I appreciate that. It's a, I'm, I'm just, I'm fascinated by how organizations go about structuring the programs and what you talked about with your big box traditional gyms that people sign up for in January and then stop going in, in February. Yep. And then on the other end is the personal training, which is amazing, but prohibitive from a cost perspective for a lot of people. So where is that, 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 that gap or probably really the sweet spot for effectively helping people to change the behaviors in a way that actually works and fits into their life. Um, so that probably makes sense as to why you've decided to form your program the way you have. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It also comes down to our target demographic, right? Our dream client, we call her Mrs. Jones, although we have male clients as well. But um, typically speaking, sometimes guys, uh, myself included, can be a little hard headed. So, you know, resistant to the coaching, uh, but about 75, 80% of our, our clientele are female. Um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're not high performance fitness athletes. I mean, certainly we have fit people, but, you know, it's really an everyday type of person program. You know, someone, our dream client, you know, is a mom, has a couple kids, has 40, 50 pounds to lose. Maybe he's worked out, but hasn't done that in a long time. She's probably tried a few different programs. Um, and pills and potions and all that kind of stuff, uh, looking for a better result and a better life. And finally comes to us, you know, having tried, exhausted a lot of resources, just looking for more help, looking for more coaching and accountability. And that's where, to your point, that we, we provide that sweet spot. And we take, a, you know, someone who's busy, has a work schedule, um, have very limited time to focus on this, but we, we ask for 30 minutes uh, at least three times a week, which is just 2% of your day. And if you give us that, you know, we're able to really, you know, over the, over the course of the, the long long term really affects someone's health and fitness in a very positive way. You mentioned for you that first 30 days was was rough. And if you hadn't been living with your buddy, you may have thrown in the towel, which is an experience I've certainly had. It's probably a very human experience. It is. What 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 do you see as once somebody gets over this hump, we we oftentimes see that they'll see it all the way through and reach their goals. Yeah, that's a great question. And I, when I gave you, uh, George, the overview of the program, I was really spoke, focused on really the training program, the modality, the three types of workouts that we have, the nutrition coaching that we provide. But from a timing perspective, we structure our program where typically speaking, we bring in uh, a client on a trial program. A 28 day jumpstart is our typically go to program for most of our franchise locations, but not all. Um, every location, had to, to, depending on the time of year, has a, a, an introductory offer, which they can welcome a prospect and try their program. But really after that introductory program, the length of membership that we have is 12 weeks. And the reason that we have 12 weeks is number one, I mean, 12 weeks, as we know from being adults, it time moves quick. So it's not a long-term you know, commitment that you're locked in for years on end. At the same token, 12 weeks is just enough time where we actually are able to show you results. So, you know, are you going to rapidly transform your physique in 12 weeks? Well, it depends on the person and kind of where you're coming from, but for the vast majority of clients, that need to lose 40 or 50 pounds. No, you're not going to hit your goal in 12 weeks. However, you will build enough repetition and habit and muscle memory and get to a point where you start seeing that progress. And as Tony Robbins is famously quoted saying, progress equals motivation. So if you can get someone to, to stack a couple wins, see the progress, then they're more likely to continue. And I think from a, 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 I think I know from a timing perspective, that's the reason that we've structured our program where our memberships are 12 weeks. And again, the goal is our clients stay with us for at least five years on end because fitness is a lifestyle, not a quick fix. Yeah. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Certainly in 12 weeks, you can go from somebody who is never thought of themselves as an athlete to I'm an athlete and I work out three times a week, if not more. Yeah, that identity shift can happen within that period of time. We, we find that we need, that's just enough time at the minimum to really start seeing those changes, both physically and mentally. I love it. Well, Bryce, people are ready for that difference making tip. What do you have for them? Oh, I love this. And there's quite a few, but I'm going to share something that's just really worked well for me in my life. 
um, is to get up early, um, get up earlier than you think um, is, is needed uh, for me. And it's been an evolution. Uh, I'm an early riser. I go to sleep really early, but I'm up usually quarter to four every day. And for me, that gives me the time, the mental clearness, the still stillness, especially, I mean, let's face it, I'm busy, George, you're busy. Uh, if you're listening to this podcast, I know you are busy too. Uh, but by basically getting to bed, you know, at a decent hour, by getting a jump start in your day, it gives you the ability to get a workout in, stack a win, maybe, you know, meditate, go for a run or read, and really just set your day up for success. And let's face, let's face it, if you're looking for a life of success, it starts with every single day, which then turns into a week, which then turns into a month. So if you can stack your win and get up just a little bit earlier, and does it have to be quarter to four like me? No, but how about starting a half an hour earlier, an hour earlier? For me, that's been a difference maker in my life. And uh, that would be my a strong, strong recommendation that served me well. Well, I think that that is great stuff that definitely gets, come on, Bryce, I'm a 345 guy too. So you're, you're, Look at you're that. We're, 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 we're reading out the same script. So. Speaking my language. Love it. Well, Bryce, thank you so much for coming on. Where can people learn more about you? How can they, how can they find Fit Body Bootcamp? Yeah, well, absolutely. So our website is fitbodybootcamp.com, fitbodybootcamp.com. And if you want to connect with me, more than happy to connect with you, um, both my social media channels and my website, which is Real Bryce Henson. Um, not to be confused with fake Bryce Henson. So uh, Real Bryce Henson is where my social media and then realbrycehenson.com is my uh, website. So you can find more about Fit Body Bootcamp there, but also directly to our website as well. Love it. Well, if you enjoyed this much as I did, show Bryce your appreciation and share today's show with a friend who also appreciates good ideas, go to fitbodybootcamp.com and get involved with the program. Make that shift from wherever you are today to healthy living through the coaching, the accountability, and everything else that we've been talking about today. You can find Bryce at Real Bryce Henson, B-R-Y-C-E-H-E-N-S-O-N, website and social media. I'll list all those in the notes of the show. Thanks again, Bryce. George, love you, man. Thanks for your time. And till next time, keep fighting the good fight as we are all in this together.